So you guys are probably wondering, what are we doing in today's video? It's actually quite simple. What we're gonna go ahead and do is take out our Dark Blade and go ahead and get our Triple Yoru. Just kidding. We're not getting Triple Yoru's in today's video. Unfortunately, I have to be gifted that by the devs and admins pretty much. In today's video, we're actually gonna go ahead and get Dark Blade V2. So right now we're in the third C, but we actually have to go ahead and go back to the first C. So now we have to go ahead and take the long ride home. Luckily for me, I actually have portal fruit, so all I have to do is go to port and go talk to the guy over here. This guy will take us back to the second C and eventually the first C. So now we're in the first C, and you guys are probably wondering, what happened to Milky Way, aka Rectway? Well, Rectway's internet is pretty dog water. You know, he was camping it out at McDonald's and his McDonald's Wi-Fi failed. So now he's moving his setup to Burger King and now he's gonna mooch off free Burger King Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and continue with this quest line. What we have to do is go into this building over here, I believe. There's a note on the floor. I don't think this is important right now. Now, but we have to talk to this like chocolate wafer guy. Wait, no, that's a chocolate Wait, that's a chocolate strawberry vanilla ice cream sandwich. Hold up. You gotta talk to this guy that has like a bunch of delicious snacks on his head What do you need, bro? Respect me well. What is, what is this conversation? What is this? What's going on? OMG, I'm, I sure respect you well, bro. What? I'm so confused on this quest line, but apparently you have to talk to this guy to get the Dark Blade V2 or the Euro V2. So let's go ahead and continue. He says, you earned my respect for reaching level 350. Can you help me with the quest? Sure. Have you seen my son, Indra? Wait, I have to go find this guy's kid and his name's Indra? So we have to go ahead and find Indra. And if you guys don't know where he's at, well, we're gonna go ahead and try to find him. If I'm not mistaken, he might be at Ice Village. Luckily for me, I am using the portal for and I think we have to go ahead and find Ice Village somewhere here. Um, it might be blind. Oh, it's actually labeled as Snow, I think. Yep, okay, so you teleport to Snow, or Frozen Village is the actual name. All right, now we go over here, and we have to find his son, Indra, somewhere on this island. I'm not 100% sure where he's at. Is he like this homeless guy in here? No, that's a sick man. That's not Indra. Okay, that's the sword dealer of the East. Indra should be somewhere around here. We have to find him. There's a doghouse. Wait. Why is a dog house named Indra? Wait, is Indra a dog? This doesn't make any sense. Bro, can I have 97 Robux? Does a quest fail if I pick the wrong one? I don't even know which one's the right one. I don't know if we have to go through all these options, but I'm just gonna give him the 97 Robux. Mentality of a child, I scammed you like a noob. Bro, what? Mentality of what child? You're welcome for those Robux. You could go ahead and thank Sugarway for those Robux, because those didn't come from me. What about this one? I hate you, but if you say no, it's okay. Bro, I can't even read this. I'm losing brain cells reading this. You know what? I'm not giving you anything. Give it well. What? What is... I'm so confused. Never mind. Bye. What? Bro, why is this so much harder than the rest of the quest? I don't even know what the quest is at this point. Is it just like a conversation quest? Okay, maybe I'll get this right. Give nothing. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I messed up. I, I did that option. Say me why. Resay. Say me why. Give nothing? Give good? I think I, I beat this quest line thingy. Now I have to go to another part of the island. Sun quest. Now I have to find like his son or something, bro. Why was this so difficult? So after speaking to that doghouse thingy that's supposed to be Indra, I had to figure out what he was talking about. And luckily for me, I figured out there was like a hidden area somewhere here. You have to find like a hidden door and go through it or something like that. We kind of have to, you know, look around the ice village and hopefully find it. It blends in with like the atmosphere. It's kind of weird. You kind of have to like find a door hidden. Is that it right here? No. Oh, that is not a door. There's a door somewhere around here. It might be like, oh, oh, okay. Here's a door. I think we have to break through this door. There we go. We break through this door and there's a letter right here. Interact with it. Okay, it's it's a letter. Yo, bro, when I see my game 43, forget unban me. What? Dude, the English is hurting my brain. I'm just gonna respond with LOL. Love letter. Hold up, hold up. That dog house is writing love letters? I have to get out of here. Okay, now we get out of here. Guys, I'm starting to second guess myself. Is it really worth getting Dark Blade V2? From what I heard, it's really cool and you can upgrade and make it look visually more appealing. But you can also go to Dark Blade V3 if you do Dark Blade V2. So I guess we will do it. Also, if you guys think this video is way more entertaining than my other ones, you'd be surprised because Funky is actually editing this video right now. <laughs> Who's a good dog, huh? Who's a good boy? You're such a good boy. Thanks for introducing yourself, Funky. Anyways, now we have to go to Sky Island. So now we have to go ahead and go to the portal, and I think that's where the next letter is. We're supposed to find multiple letters scattered throughout the game. So we go ahead and click Sky here. It should take us in this building here. Also, if you guys didn't know this little Easter egg, if you type this code in on the little Twitter code, it gives you like $10. All right, I think it's like a dollar in game. It's not even worth it, but that's a little cool Easter egg if you guys didn't know. Let's go ahead and uh, open this door here. I think the love letter number two should be in here. 
and it is. Now we talk to this love letter. OMG, friend me in Discord again, please, bro. I'll respect you from now on. OMG, you have all my respect for defeating my enemies and sons. Sad face. LOL. Why do I have to respond to LOL with everything? This is so weird. So with that being done, now we have to find the third love letter, I guess. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the Dark Blade before we get it to V2. I want to go take a look at its ability. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Z ability. It's called the 1000 Slices, and it does this little effect. That's cool, I guess, but it should look different when we awaken it to V2. And there's also the Dark Slash, which is the X ability. It just looks like a normal slash, I guess. I heard it's going to be a lot crazier for V2, and it's going to be a lot more better looking. Also, if you guys are enjoying it so far, go ahead and leave a like and sub. That will tell me if you guys want to see a V3 Dark Blade or Yoru. But for now, let's go ahead and go to the third part of the quest. Third part of the quest is, I believe, at Marine Fortress. Now we have to go here and actually go to the back of Marine Fortress. There's a door somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we have to open this and it should... Bro, why is there a heart here? Valentine's Day was yesterday. I'm so confused on why I'm going to the love tunnel right now. This is weird. And we have to use our Z ability to open all these doors. And like, it's like a giant maze or something like that. We have to go ahead and just keep searching through here. And I think we find a letter somewhere in between here. I think we're somewhere close to it now. We've been breaking like every single door. I think this is the last door. So that means this has to be it. Let's go ahead and slash this door down. And would you look at that? The last letter is finally here. Now we have to go ahead and talk to this. OMG, you know well I hate Wenlock. Don't interfere with the sun versus sun. Yes, Master. I have the a respect. Bro, my English hurts. My brain hurts. I'm losing brain cells reading these. Love letter three acquired. I can't comprehend what they're saying, bro. But I guess this will be worth it. Now let's go ahead and just portal out of here. I think we go back to Midtown and talk to him to awaken it to V2 now. We go back to the ice cream guy right over here. Say it and say it well. Okay, something weird has occurred to your dark blade. Cry, cry. My son still loves me. Thanks, bro. You're a real G. Okay. Hey, respect. 100 respect. And I have hacked your dark blade. Let's go see. All right. Yeah, yeah. If you need anything, just let me know. No shame, you know? That's what homies are for. Bro, what? Bro, this guy just rizzed me up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our dark blade. So he hacked it. Visually, it kind of looks the same. Maybe there's a little bit more flames to it. I know V3 is a lot more crazier, but if you guys want to see V3, go ahead and like up the video. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first ability. It's like the slashes, but does it do anything different? Oh, wow. There's a little bubble effect now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just dashed now. Wait a second. If you guys go back, I wasn't able to dash. Crazy. Hold on. Now I have a dash built into my dark blade and it does this bubble pop thing. Kind of like cursed dual katanas. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and look at the dark air slash. Yo, that thing's huge. They say there's no bonus effect switching from Dark Blade V1 to V2, but I think there is a definite advantage. And I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's a huge advantage and it's such an easy quest to do. Let me go ahead and test it on the monkeys over here. Let's go ahead and teleport to the jungle real quick and test it on some monkeys, AKA Rectways. All right, let's test this first one. This dash, bro. How do people say this does not have any effect? This definitely changes the game. Wait, I just realized the Dark Blade Slash goes way further now too. Oh my gosh, this Dark Blade V2 or Yoro V2 is really good now. Hold up. And since I'm here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and spin for a Blocks Fruit because why not? Bro, I got a Light Fruit. I actually got a pretty decent fruit and Milky Way's internet had to just go kaboom. Bro really had to go to a different fast food chain to get some better Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and store this because why not? I'm gonna go ahead and test this Dark Air Slash one more time on this monkey right here, but I'm gonna go super far. I wanna see like how far does this thing actually go. You can see the monkey right there. I wonder if it will actually hit him if I go this far. That would be ridiculous. Oh, it went through him. Hold on. It definitely goes that far, but it went through him. Let's try that one more time. All right, let's try it again. Let's see. Does it kill the monkey? And it does. Okay, so the first time was like a little glitch. But as you can see, that is a Dark Blade or Yoru V2. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys wanna see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.